So this is an example of a drug that did make it. In the 1970s, 72, I think it was, uh, there was a drug called, small compound called timoprazole um, that was identified. And that had an effect to somehow reduce the efficiency of the so-called proton pumps in our stomach. So these proton pumps are the ones that are literally pumping protons to create an acidic environment in our stomach. And if they work too much, we can end up with ulcers, Nobel Prize a few years ago. Uh, the problem with timoprazole, there's just one tiny problem with it. It's toxic, so we can't eat it, uh, because obviously we can't eat the toxic molecule. What then happened is that Computational and pharmaceutical chemists at AstraZeneca, uh, Astra at the time, they went through a lot of iterations to redesign this molecule and try to remove the toxicity by removing and adding extra parts on that molecule. And eventually they ended up with this molecule instead. Uh, this molecule was patented in 1978. It's called omeprazole. Uh, it was finally approved on the market 10 years later, so in 1988. And remember, at the time, I don't even think we had 25 years of patent protection, so almost half the patent time had expired while we had things in the lab and testing the drug. And they haven't made a single cent in this time. By 1996, this was the most sold drug worldwide. I forgot how many billions, but again, we're talking about tens of billions here. This made AstraZeneca the company they are. This is the drug that, if you've ever bought this, is called Losec on the market, or pre-Losec in the US. And then in 2001, the patent expired. Astra was pretty successful extending this with new formulations or so for a few years, but by now it's all over. They're not making any money from it anymore. You can buy this as a so-called generic drug on the market, manufactured for a tenth, if not a hundredth of the cost, which again is the public's benefit. Let us have a little bit look at this process, how it works and how we identify drugs and the various things, both to find hits and optimize them.